Remember when I said uh, uh, we were going to be spending as much time here as we did in Stark Mountain? Well, that's still true considering we're pretty close to the exit, but nonetheless, it feels like I've been here for a while now, and it's especially amplified by the fact that, um, well, every wild encounter is a double battle, so it definitely makes these longer at the very least, and... If you're wondering why I'm just not running away, well, two reasons. One, I never run away, and two, I have freaking infinite healing, motherfucker. So why shouldn't I milk that fact for all it's worth and gain a few levels, even if it does take a little while? Uh, anyway, the big news over the last few days. Freeze Dry, which is, uh, oh wow, this guy is... Oh, I remember this guy! I gotta fill out the habitat list for Reversal Mountain and then come back here to see him and, uh... Oh, is that already complete? I remember last time I was missing a few, but... Hey! Free, uh, free fall swipe TM! Um, I'm, I'm gonna take it because I remembered uh, in my first run having to look up what I was missing and it was kind of annoying because I think... Uh, did it take a while? I don't think so, but still, the fact that I had to come back here was uh, pretty annoying. Anyway, Freeze Dry is uh, the first of maybe uh, many of a new type of moves that has a special that has the special added effect of being super effective against uh, a type it's normally not very effective against. In this case, that would be water. We know Auroros gets it, but we don't know if it's going to be its signature move, if anything else will get it, or if it might even be a TM, who knows. But, uh, uh, a lot of people are excited about that, but as far as I'm concerned, I want to see the power of the moves before, uh, before passing judgment, because if it's something like 70, eh, I don't think it's going to be worth using, because the fact is that it's going to be competing with Ice Beam, which is one uh, of the best moves in the game simply because of its sheer power, 95 power, that's quite a lot, but I really want to wait until we know how powerful it is before I pass judgment, because there were so many moves with promising little gimmicks that were just ruined by having their power too low. So, is Freeze Dry going to be one of these moves? Of course, if it has clones in other types that don't have to compete with uh, moves as powerful as Ice Beam, well, it might be a lot better, especially if they, they have a decent learn base, but of course, we don't know anything about that. We, we simply know that this kind of move now exists. As I said, very interesting, but it has the potential to uh, go either way as far as I'm concerned. It could be completely underpowered, or it could be so revolutionary that it, that it obsoletes Ice Beam. Anyway, I think that's the exit! Yep, Undella Town is right through here. So, um, of course there was no entrance from Undella Town into this place in Black and White 1 because it didn't exist. Uh, so yes, we're going to say bye for now because uh, we, ca we can't move on to uh, Undella Town with Bianca, unfortunately. So that's going to be the end of Infi Infinite Healing Motherfucker. Either way, we've done everything that we needed to do here. We're only going to come back here near the end of the LP for uh, Heatran. So, we made it to Undella Town. The, as you can see, there's a bit of construction uh, go, going on here to further the development of Undella Town. Uh, now, I know there's a Yancey tile somewhere in that construction area. Here we have a shiny stone. Definitely don't spit on that. Uh, the Yancey tile isn't in this area. Maybe in this one? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe somewhere around here. Sorry if I'm trying them all, but I uh, I didn't think uh, of looking it up before I, um, before I started recording. This was something that I remembered as I entered the area. I, I definitely remember that there was one here because this was one of the few that I tripped by complete accident on my first playthrough. Man, the dowsing machine is pinging so much. I'm going to just grab all the hidden items real quickly, and after that, I'm going to check out the buildings. Not that there's too much to check out because it's still spring. It's only during the summer that this place gets really busy. 
So here we got a hard scale, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna head over there because I think the Yancey tile might be in that area of the stairs. As you can see lots of pearls. We're going to hold on to them, and yep, here is the Yancey tile. So yeah, hold on to those pearls because once we get to Ice Series, which is post game only, remember, we're going to be able to sell these to the maniac for double, for double the price. So, mm hmm. Nothing very interesting. As usual, we're only doing this to further the side quest and eventually reap the rewards. So, now that we've done that, we can check out these buildings. Here we have uh, the Riches Villa, which was severely downsized since uh, the last game. And <laughs> they're all saying Bagfuck Street. Sorry, it's just so fun. I can't, I can't believe it didn't trip the, uh, the sensor or anything like that. Uh, anyway, this is the father of the Riches uh, that is going to buy stuff you find in uh, the Abyssal Ruins from you. And um, of course, I of course I don't have any yet, so I can't uh, give them to him. And as you can see, well, as I was about to say, this place was severely downsized because uh, the rest of the family is completely gone. So uh, the win straight challenge ripoff is no longer in this game. So that means Hoenn not confirmed. Whatever. Let's just move on to this new building over here, which is the Marine Tube, which gives you access to Humilau City, but, uh, but unfortunately we need to have beaten Drayden in order to be able to move on through the Marine Tube. It's, uh, it's an underwater pipe that uh, goes straight from uh, Undela to Humilau. So this guy here is going to block my path. So, it's just for a matter of cleaning. Yeah, this game is notorious for having the lamest excuses ever for roadblocks, but we haven't seen anything yet. We're gonna see something pretty soon that is going to top every single excuse for a roadblock you've ever seen. And to think I was begging for a roadblock on, on the way to Mahogany until you've beaten Jasmine, Jasmine and Johto. Suddenly I wish I hadn't! My, my, Cynthia! How you've changed over the last two years! I'm kidding, of course, this isn't Cynthia. It's just some random old, old lady who informs you that this is Caitlyn's private mansion. Cynthia isn't here yet, but she's going to appear in the post-game, naturally. And here we have an NPC who talks about Jellison, but doesn't elaborate on how they can be unusual, because I honestly have no idea what she means by that. So, mm -hmm, somewhere somebody is making them. Well, isn't that true of everything in society? Mm, okay, over here we have this guy who looks pretty shady, hanging in the corner like that. A citrus berry for 1,000? Nope! 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 Terrible deal! Even if it's just a thousand dollars, you can still do much better for, uh, than uh, Citrus Berry for a uh, for one thousand, like two Moo Moo Milks or almost a Hyper Potion. Anyway, uh, the purpose of this guy was to give you a Fun Fest mission, so... I don't know if, I, if he would have actually sold the Citrus Berry to me, but whatever. It's, it's just a Citrus Berry, it's not that good, even competitively. So, um, what's he gonna give me? Oh, the Prism Scale! This is the item that uh, allows Feebas to evolve into Milotic from Generation 5 onwards. So, the Abyssal Ruins have message carved into the, the walls. We've seen that in the last Let's Play. I don't think I need to go over it again. So, here we have the usual selection. And do we have anything interesting uh, with this guy? Nope, just uh, luxury balls and dive balls and just a bunch of mail. Nothing interesting at all. Uh, now, uh, the, the dowsing machine is telling me that there are items over on this beach. I'm just, go just going to pick them up real quick since I don't think there are any trainers on the way there. There's a hard scale is. Hard scales are always welcome. And here we have a Draco play. Not bad. So, uh, now... I am going to put Volcarona in the lead because now we're going to head over to Route 14 to um, to uh, catch a Mianfu. Unfortunately, there are a few trainers in the way uh, of uh, me getting to that sweet, sweet tall grass that contains the uh, Mianfu. So I'm going to take care of these trainers, and after that, well, 
Well, I'll see how much time I have left, but uh, I'm just going to battle these for the time being. So anyway, I was talking about freeze-dry earlier, and there was some speculation as to whether a certain other moves could have the potential to be retconned with the same gimmick, such as a freeze shock, ice burn, scald, and honestly, I don't think so, for the simple reason that these moves already have added effects that reflect their quirkiness. For example, uh, free uh, ice burn and scald can burn, freeze shot can paralyze, and we're talking about pretty high rates that, uh, here, too. So I don't think that's gonna happen, especially in the case of Scald. I mean, Scald is already a very good move that rivals Surf in terms of usefulness. So as a result, I, ju I just don't think it's a, it would be a good idea at all to, say, make it super effective against Grass. Here we have a Big Pearl, definitely hold on to, to it until uh, you reach uh, Icerus, as I said before. Uh, but yeah, if you make a move like Scald super effective against Grass, and keep in mind, Scald has crazy distribution, like pretty much every water type uh, can learn it. I'm sure there are some exceptions, but most water types can learn it along with uh, an assortment of Pokémon from other types, such as Ambor, oddly enough. But the point is, if you make uh, uh, an already great move such as Scald, uh, have this advantage on top of that, then there's going to be little reason to use anything but Scald on the special water end, at least. So, uh, and, well, it, it as a result, because of its wide distribution, it would uh, completely throw things off balance, and basically water would become super effective against grass as a whole, and we can't have that. So I have about three minutes left. I don't think that's enough to search for a, a Mien Fu that has both a decent nature and regenerator. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to head over to Nimbasa City and fight uh, the Ferris Wheel Trainer for a spring. So after that, I think only uh, the Summer One will be uh, left because I fought the other two. And yes, spring is here! And uh, how appropriate that she can't stop sneezing because I'm recovering from a cold myself. But yeah, I'm jealous of all those NPCs for whom spring is just starting. Whereas uh, here, we're on our way to another cold, harsh winter. So, hmm. Man, I hate that girl already. I can tell you that much. Now I really hate her! I'm going to show her exactly what it means to have a 20 level advantage. Suddenly I'm glad she wasn't the first one I met her back when I first got here, because that means I'm going to have free reign to obliterate her with a super effective signal beam from, uh, from a Volcarona that's almost twice the level. But yeah, as I was saying, it's just, uh, it would just be a terrible idea to make a Skull super effective against Grass, because, well, just imagine rain teams having free reign over grass on top of everything else. That would be absolutely horrible. That's just, just a random thought that crossed my mind, but this is why I really don't think there are going to be any retcons, because all the, the moves that would have that kind of quirk to begin with already have other added, added effects to start with, so it's really not needed at all. God damn it, I hate this chick so much, I can't wait for this ride to be over. On top, I wish I could just open the door and just throw her out of it. Just because I would enjoy wa washing her go splat in a mess of blood and guts so goddamn much. And... DESERVED! DESERVED! You are such a little chicken! Cheep, 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 cheep! But that's enough of that. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Y2, we are going to catch a Mianfu, hopefully one with a good nature and regenerator, and make our way to the village bridge while avoiding as many trainers as possible. <laughs>